theoretically. Might take Solomon a minute or two to show up. Got a long way to go. Oh. Oh, there he is. Hey there. Hey, how's it going? Shoes are starting to get holes in them. Damn it. I'm I'm not sure that's gonna do it all. In fact, I know that's not gonna do it all. Hold that we're just gonna make sure that you're all dressed up nicely. You're going to Oh, I forgot I got that for you. Well you're gonna need one of those. Probably some pants. Thinking. Add Victoria. There's some nice pants. One of those. One of those. Alright, Solomon Hardy. He's my new clown. How's the wasteland treating you? Eh, it could be better, you know. It could be worse. It's not that bad. I feel like he could use a hat. Alright, let's talk hey to there. him. You have a second? Oh yeah, totally. I was hoping to talk to you about something. Sure. I'm Solomon Hardy. I'm a doctor and initiate with the Brotherhood of Steel. I've got a proposition for you. Oh, get rich scream. Yeah, I'm in. Let's do this. <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. There isn't much money to be made in my profession anymore. See, I signed up with the Brotherhood for a chance to help people across the country. It was nice. Now that we're stationed in Atlas Observatory, my ability to reach patients has been limited. I'm looking for a safe and relatively clean place to store supplies and catch my breath while on the road. If you're willing to let me spend time here, I can offer surplus supplies and some medical services for as low a cost as I can afford. Yeah, that, that sounds fair. Or I could just steal all your supplies right now. But that's, you know, I am giving you a place to stay. Believe me, I wish I could just give it all away, but I need to be able to buy more supplies myself. Yeah, that's fair. As I can offer, I'm already at risk of paying out of pocket. I just need a small spot for myself. Stay out of your way, and I'll be around if you need any assistance. We have a deal? Probably. Yeah, make yourself at home. Thank you. This will give me the chance to help a lot of people. I really appreciate it. And you can do it in a clown suit. That's going to make people happy. If it isn't my favorite patient. Hey, he's cheerful. Oh, I like him already. I can't even begin to describe how rewarding it is to help those in need, but I feel like the war really robbed me of the chance to leave the office early and play golf. Oh, uh, let's talk. Want to get personal? That's fine. That's fine. I'm not paying rent after all. Okay. Couldn't hurt to answer a few questions. Ask away. How do you like cloud suit? Oh, it's not one of the options. Hmm. I guess it's a side effect to having a good bedside manner. Patients tend to open up to me. They just need someone to talk to. From rookies to top brass. Everyone just needs a chance to be vulnerable. Since even the most routine checkups can leave you bug naked, save a flimsy gown. Cultivating vulnerability is already my forte. Are you going to make me put a gown on to take my temperature? Because I'm not sure I'm going to fall for that one again. Uh, maybe. I don't think breaking doctor-patient confidentiality is in my best interest. But you should talk to them yourself. I couldn't tell you much about the members back in California. But the folk that came over with Paladin and Monty are good people. I tell you. They've got some stories. All right. Under that armor, they're just normal people like you or me. They've got aspirations and anxieties. They worry if they're doing enough or if they're doing too much or if they should be doing anything at all. Their determination might seem steel clad. Pardon the pun. <laughs> they're very human at heart. Sure, let's talk about something else, though. Of course. What else did you want to know? Everything. Truth is, I come from a long, long line of doctors. But growing up, it never stuck. 
Lost interest in school. Couldn't make the grade. The Army felt like a place I could make a difference. So I enlisted right out of high school. That actually is a little bit worrying. Like a little tiny bit. You know, I'm, I'm going to ask. We should oh, know. Hold on. That's not the whole story. First time in active combat. Me and a few guys from my unit got separated from the group. Artillery fire brought a whole cliffside down between us and our base. About 20 minutes later, when I found myself stitching up our medic, the calling finally caught up to me. Maybe it was in my blood. Maybe saving lives just felt like more rewarding than taking them. But that experience changed things for me. Uh-oh. Oh, we might have broken it. We'll see if it comes back. We might have to continue this conversation later. It always gets awkward when we stand here and not talk and we don't have anything to say to each other, but it's cool. This is Solomon. That's his new outfit. He's cool with it. Well, he didn't say he wasn't cool with it, so. So, anytime now, the server's probably going to crash. Oh, there we go. Well, I'm going to be really quickly just open up a new world here and see how fast we can do this. This is our interrupted one. But I still want to go talk to Solomon. We haven't seen what he has this for sale yet. There's our four. All right. Okay, let's go catch up with Solomon, wherever the heck he is. Well, I see his place. He's probably hanging out somewhere. Down there? Dude. Well, we might talk to Solomon down here, maybe. Thanks again for letting me stick around. Hey, no worries. Would you mind if I tried out a few experimental stem pack mixes on you? I... Uh, never mind. I so, wouldn't mind, actually. I'd like to try them. But I'd, I'd rather you talk to me face to face instead of that rock thing, because it was a little weird. The doctor is in. <laughs> sorry. He says sorry a lot. The Canadian? Rob, what was I talking about? The Brotherhood oh. of Steel, I think. Oh, maybe not. As a community, I think they're fine company. As a team, I don't think I've ever felt safer. What? You mean like their ideals and methods? There's some elements I can wholeheartedly get behind, that's for sure. Teamwork, structure, discipline. Just like my army days. There's some other elements that worry me, if I'm being honest. I'm comfortable with how this group here thinks, but, well... From the literature I've gotten my hands on, uh -oh. it seems like things are run a little differently in California. I think the metaphorical chain of command is getting awfully taut, if you catch my meaning. I do. Uh-oh. Now, I only know what I've read. 
Initiates like me have never actually been a part of the California Brotherhood. We were picked up along the way. But from what I gather, there's a lot more talk about hoarding technology than helping folks. How did that holotape put it? Help protect people from themselves? Something like that. I can appreciate where they're coming from, but my obligations are to help people by, well, helping people. Yeah, yeah. This makes sense. Well, let's talk about that. Because they do like well, to do that. that. I don't have a lot of thoughts to share on that. No? Or at least, I'm cautious about sharing what thoughts I do have. I just know this. I joined this group because it was the best way I could help people across the country. Taking away a few plasma rifles here and there. I can sleep at night if that's the cost. Uh-oh. We've got to need to ask about that. Don't be putting words in my mouth. I don't think it's that serious, but I do think the folk out of here take good advantage of the autonomy that the distance provides. That's that is great information. Thank and you, Solomon. Just, just uh, don't make me regret sharing what I did. Not everyone is as keen on discussing the way things are done. I'm sure it's fine. I had spent the last two decades wandering to every burnt out settlement and smoking crater in the ground I could find. The world was in need of healing and I had the skills to do it. But I could only do so much alone. I'd hear about a community with some sick kids or someone with a chronic illness. But if I went to help, I would be turned away. They didn't want to risk letting some stranger into their mix. And I don't blame them, really. It's a rough world out there. But when I saw the Brotherhood roll in, people would not, could not turn them away. It reminded me of my time in the Army. Where we went, there was a sense of safety, security. I wanted to take advantage of that, help people on the road. Sure enough, they led me to plenty of people in need. Let's talk about something else then. Fine by me. What else did you need? Want to get personal? That's fine. Did I finish all these? I'm not paying rent after all. Okay. Couldn't hurt to answer a few questions. Ask away. Oh, let's see. I don't think we did that one. Tell me about it. My parents helped run the chapel at their hospital. The runner up for my name was Ichabod, so <laughs> I think I got off pretty lucky with Solomon. I like it, though. It makes me feel wise. Maybe a little wiser than I actually am. Would you look at the time? I I've got a very uh, sick patient. Going to need to review these charts. Oh, that was smooth. Hours. Maybe the next day or two. Oh. Of course. Just tell me where it hurts. Oh, these are like the. That little scratch. I wouldn't waste. What the old doctor and the old father? When I can see out the other side. Yeah, that's fair. I'll, I will come back when you can see it the other side. I don't actually have any rats, probably. Drink more water. Try and get a good night's sleep. That's actually always good advice. Drink more water. Try and get a good night's sleep. You mean that ingenious use of America's finest soft drink? Of course. I haven't had the chance to thank your overseer. Oh, that was me. And look on your face. You're not telling me. That was you? Hell yeah, it was. You drank my blood. Um, couldn't be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I could see why the creator of Nuka Cola, my blood's in it, might want to remain anonymous. Tack for branding aside. Appalachia wouldn't be around today if it wasn't for them. Hey, it's an honest name. What does he have for sale? Not too impressed with that. Just here for a bit. I'll stay out of your hair. Well, we'll have to come back, but I don't think you're going to be my. Uh, Would you mind if I tried out a few? Ex my guy for a while, I think. All right, then. I like Let's the see. chef. She gives you food at least. So that's Solomon Hardy. He's new. Don't be afraid to ask for help if you need it. Well, I tried, but she told me to drink water. So I'm going to maybe drink some water. 
Well, I'm going to let him hang around my camp all night, probably, and see what he has to say. So thank you for joining me. That was available on the Legendary Run on whatever the heck rank I'm on. Let's see. It's back there. I'm rank 52, so, you know, 50-ish? Somewhere? I don't know. It's been a long day. Thank you for joining me. You have a wonderful evening. Well, that I like.